process, which was the Constitution, and that's what made it legal. Now, what we're doing with Initiative for Democracy is we're using Article 7 in the same manner. It becomes self-actuating. So what we're saying is that, and we don't have to go back and ask uh, conventions. We can ask, we have the technology to ask all Americans, do you want to be empowered to make laws and change the Constitution? And if the people can answer in the affirmative, it will become the law of the land. And so what we've done is set up a, an electoral process conducted by Philadelphia II, much, much more uh, transparent than anything that the government has ever done. And so when the majority of the people who voted in the last presidential election, which would be around 60 million American voters, when they vote in the affirmative, whether it's on the internet or by a ballot, and they vote in the affirmative, it becomes the law of the land. So that's the self-actuating feature of what we're doing. When the majority of the people vote to empower themselves to make laws, the electoral process conducted by Philadelphia II becomes legal because the people have voted for it. And the law that we're putting forward is also legal because the people voted for it. Now what this does, it amends the Constitution, setting up a legislature of the people. It sets up an independent agency that will then administer legislature of the people for the people's behalf. And also it limits uh, contributions or the participation of money to a natural person, which outlaws all of the corporate activities in question. That is what is in the Constitutional Amendment. In the Legislative Procedures Act, that is also enacted as a statute, because we don't want to clutter up uh, the Constitution with uh, procedures uh, of this nature, what this sets up are the procedures so the people can deliberately, deliberately legislate, make laws in every government jurisdiction of the United States. What this does is empowers the people by bringing them into the operation of government in partnership with their elected representatives. The people can make laws and representatives can continue to make laws because we don't alter the structure of representative government. What we do is add to it. We add the people a new check to our system of checks and balances which cannot be voided as our present checks can be whenever you have one party that controls all three departments of government. That's, that's what we have now on the shelf, ready for people to reach for. What I'm announcing today is the fact that up till now, over the last decade, we have only offered people the opportunity to vote on the internet. And there you can learn about the National Citizens Initiative, and you can vote for it, and you can contribute. And I say contribute because we need the economic wherewithal to conduct this election. It's not going to be uh, conducted or paid for by the government. It has to be paid for by the people who seek their own empowerment. Now we have an opportunity with this announcement, meaning that we're, we've had printed ballots, and we're going to circulate these ballots to anybody that will distribute them to people. And the ballots are designed to hold a registration card, uh, which the voter fills out, so that we can check that they are legally entitled to vote this in their home state. Because if people vote and they're not registered to vote, we can't count their votes. And then there's a sealed envelope where you can put in a dollar. Now the election, the paraphernalia for the election, is, is over a dollar. I just realized that when you're mailing this back, it's 54 cents. So what we need is for people to put a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, or a check for a substantial sum of money in this envelope back to us. This means that only one person is dealing with the money that's coming in, and it's uh, setting up the process uh, where we, our, our treasurer will be able to deposit the money and account for them. We have an interesting situation. We have a major donor 
who has agreed to match everything we raise up to $50,000. So that means that we can kick this off as we raise money on a budget of $100,000. What we need to do is realize that this will become the law of the land when we reach critical mass. Critical mass means it could be a thousand people, a million people for the national initiative. But once this happens, people will be awakened to the need that they can be empowered. That if the people want to make change, there's only one way you can do it, and that is to empower yourself. Progressives, pundits, organizations, all over the country, the power of government is lawmaking. For us to be free, for the American people, and the peoples of the world to be free, they must be empowered to make laws in their jurisdiction and eventually make global laws, not at the behest of the elites that control our representative governments, but by the people directly. Let me close on this note. This will only happen if individuals will take, take up the gauntlet, take the leadership, and circulate these ballots or get people to go to the National Initiative for Democracy.us, NCID.us.